everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this sweet little A2 size card for you today using the Bud Vases die set. This is a standalone die set that creates this really cool basket for these vases. And there's so many ways you can use this. I'm also going to be using the Lovely Layers Spring Greenery die set, which has just got tons of different dies for creating some fun layered foliage pieces. And lastly, I'm going to be using the gorgeous spring vine layering frames die set. I'm going to be using that outermost um, perimeter die there for my project. Now I'm going to be also using the gorgeous uh, simple, simply spring paper pad. I love this paper pad. And I used our double stitched oval die to create this oval for the focal point for my card using one of the floral papers from that paper pad. There you can see that gorgeous rectangle, that scallop, that's from the spring vine layering frames. And these are going to be the pieces that make up the front of my card. So I do have an A2 size card front here already cut. It's a top folding tent fold card. And I'm going to just use my honeybee liquid adhesive here to adhere this card front to my card base. And you can just see how this goes completely around right to the edge of an A2 size card base. And I love that white on white. I think it's just really pretty. I love the texture and embossing that the die creates on the paper. Now I'm going to cover the back of my patterned paper here with some foam adhesive. I'll just take the release paper off the back of that foam adhesive and adhere that onto my card front just to create the beautiful pattern paper focal point for the front of my card. And those pattern papers in that Simply Spring paper pad, honestly, if you haven't seen that entire paper pad yet, I highly recommend it. It is absolutely stunning. And the paper pads from Honey Bee are always just really, really gorgeous. So that floral pattern that's on this paper is so pretty. It just looks like a most beautiful watercolor or really loose watercolor painting. I think it's just really stunning. And I couldn't resist using that as my card front here for my project. I don't think I've used this paper yet on any of my projects since the Simply Spring release was live. So there you can just see, I'm just making sure that that's centered on my card front. I'll give that a really good press and make sure that's nicely adhered. Now I have cut out all of this, the uh, Lovely Layers Spring Greenery dies from three different colors of cardstock. A really bright green, which is this one I'm working on here, kind of a yellowy green and then more of a dark green. I'm going to use pink fresh olive and evergreen inks just to add a little bit of detail with a blending brush to the edges of the cardstock. And in this way, it's just going to add a little bit of dimension to my different cardstock pieces that I've die cut from those different green colored cardstock papers. And I just went into my scrap bin and grabbed some green paper scraps and die cut using those scraps and it's just a really great way to use up any of that scrap cardstock paper that you have in your space. So you can also probably see how nicely the leaves are embossed by that die. So you can see the veins in the leaves which is really cool. So the dies are really intricate and I'm also going to just take a brown Prisma color pencil and I'm just going to define the veins in the leaf a little bit just with that really sharp pencil and in that way it's just going to create that little bit of extra detail with this greenery. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish that up. This is just a really really quick process and it's just another way that you can use your colored pencils in your for your different projects. So now that that's all done, I'm going to just finish up doing some ink blending on all of the different little pieces. These pieces here um, have a bloom on the top and then partway down. And so I'm just going to trim these off into two separate pieces. And then there's a layer that goes on top of those blooms for each of these different uh, pieces here. So you'll see those layered up in the pieces once I start to adhere this to the card. This uh, floral pe or foliage piece here, I just really love. It's a little bit more intricate with a little bit more um, skinny detail. And then this is that wood grain die that's part of the Bud Vases set and it forms part of that um, vase basket. So I just wanted to cut that from craft and then add some oxide inks to add a little bit of detail. So I think I'm using brush corduroy 
Vintage Photo and Ground Espresso, I believe, are the brands that I've used for giving that little bit of extra dimension to this cardstock piece here. And the wood graining in this die is really great. It adds just some really cool detail. So you can definitely see that this is a wood grain piece here and there. I'm just showing you the detail. Now I'm just going to go in with um, my Prismacolor pencil and just add a few little highlights here and there with that kind of a light yellow pencil and just add that little bit of extra detail. And to be honest, it's not really going to show up because this is going to be placed behind the little basket, but I just wanted to attempt to add as much detail to these different pieces as I could before I started to put the card together, because sometimes these little details do make quite a difference with your project. So I am going to add a little bit of coral reef to the edges of the vases. I've cut them from just a really pretty peach colored cardstock, and that's that cardstock coordinates really nicely with the patterned paper that I used from that paper pad. And so I'll just use this coral reef from Pink Fresh just to kind of add that little bit of extra definition. And you can see the embossed lines on these vases as well, just creates that very cool detail on the die cuts. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of, I believe this is Raspberry Bliss from Pink Fresh, and it doesn't show up really super well on the video, but it does make a difference on the little pieces here. And I'm going to use a little bit of sweet mustard from Pink Fresh on the little yellow pieces to create that little extra dimension here as well. So I'll finish up with that ink blending now. We're ready to start to assemble the card. I did die cut out the basket from black cardstock three times, and I'm going to adhere those together just to create more of a dimensional die cut. So I'm just using my Honey Bee liquid adhesive to get these glued together. I love this die that creates this, this basket. I think it's so cool. Really, really interesting. And so now I'm just gonna finish gluing that together. And then that wood piece is just going to go on the inside of the bottom of the basket. And so I'll just put a little bit of adhesive on the back of the little basket there and then adhere that to that wood grain piece. And that's just gonna form the inside detail of our little ba basket here. Now each of these little vases is going to fit inside. So I'm just going to kind of try and get an idea of the height that I want for the vases, being mindful of the fact that I am going to put some, fo some of those foliage bits inside. So I wanna make sure that they're low enough that's going to allow lots of room for the foliage to stick out of the vase. So I'm just kind of making sure that I like the where the placement is of these. And then I'll just add a little bit of that liquid adhesive on the back of that board piece and then go ahead and adhere that down. I'll just give that a good press. And then I'm deciding that I think I want that one on the left to be a little bit lower. So I think I end up pulling that off and moving it down a little bit. And just to vary the heights of the vases to make them look kind of a little bit more interesting as well so they're not all just straight across. Now I'm just gonna take a pencil crayon again here, and this one is, I think this is kind of like uh, a little bit of a pink color, and I just wanted, wanted to add a little bit more of shadow detail over on the edges of the vases, so I'll just do that kind of in behind that little basket, and just to add just some shadow over on the edges, just to create a little bit more of that depth and dimension on those, those vases in that way. And now I'm just kind of putting it onto the, the floral piece there. I just wanted these to pop a little bit more off that floral background. So by defining the edges, I think it does help achieve that a little bit. So just gonna darken up those edges and make sure that I can see them a little bit better. So that's pretty much finished there. Now what I wanna do is just pop the bottom area of those vases up on some foam adhesive and I'm going to leave the top portion free so that I can add my foliage in here. This is going to make sure that I have this little basket on here straight and once I'm happy with that I'll start to adhere the little foliage pieces into the vases. So I'm just again using my liquid adhesive and I'll trim off these little pieces of the Lovely Layers Spring Greenery wherever I feel like they need to be trimmed off. 
so that I can go ahead and stick them in a little bit deeper into the vase. And I love the combination of the different colors of green cardstock. I think that's really nice because they, each of the different little pieces show up just a little bit better that way. And you can see that I layered that pink foli or floral piece onto the top of that foliage where the floral is meant to be. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish layering these all together, just trying to alternate the different colors of green and making sure that I add a little bit of a floral stem to each one of the different vases. I really like that combination of the different colors of green with the pinks. I think it looks really pretty with that patterned paper as well. Now this one is definitely too long, so I'll just give that a good little trim. And then I'll just go ahead and add that into this one. Just trying to make sure that that looks natural. So I'm just gonna pick up the, the leaf of the one beside it and kind of overlay it over top of that larger leaf. I'm just continuing to go ahead and layer these up and I'm almost finished. I really love how this looks when it's when it's all done. And there's so many ways that you can use the Lovely Layers Spring Greenery. I think that foliage set is just really, really gorgeous. And I love that these greenery pieces are a little bit more intricate and detailed um, and a little bit smaller so that you can um, use them in smaller elements like these little vases. So now I'm going to take some white splatter and splatter the top portion with a really generous amount of that white splatter. And I just covered up the basket just because I didn't necessarily want the black basket to have a bunch of white splatter on it. I really wanted that basket to really pop and I feel like it would blend more if it had the white splatter on it. So I'm just gonna make sure I get the white splatter on the card background as well. And here I have stamped and die cut out a sentiment from the um, Rooting For You stamp and die set from Honeybee Stamps, and that will finish off my card. Friends, I've linked up to all of the different products that I've used for my project today in the description box below. Have an amazing day, friends, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.